Jimmy, you've been around uh, a lot of uh, ex-national teamers since you've been in, 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 in Doha. You've been along a lot of experienced players that have either played in World Cups and been in tough moments, good moments. What's been the overall – was there a shared sentiment? Was there a – I mean, was the range of excitement or, or, or belief, uh, was there a wide range to that or what, what's going on? I, I would say, no, it's a great question. I would say cautiously optimistic that we had a team that could do something special, but do they believe that they can do something special? And, and yeah, you can say it and you can see videos or any social media stuff. And you can see the camaraderie, but you really don't know until the game starts. And I thought that first 45 minutes was fantastic. It was a bit of a tale of two halves. I can understand why there might be some frustration with Greg. Did he not pull the right strings? Did he not make the right subs? Did he not say the whatever, whatever it is, there's already people out there that have, have their agenda as it were. And, and this is what he's going to be judged on. And when we had something, and I think when I saw those former national team players uh, congregating today to talk about the game, it just felt like a loss. Like we had it there. It was in our hands and we just gave it back. And that was probably the most disappointing or uh, collective feeling that I think we had as a group. What I'll add is, there are a lot of positives to take out of this game. I love our balance of our team. I thought starting uh, Team Oea was the right choice. Now, it seems like Gio Reyna didn't, I don't know, I think he suited up, but didn't even warm up. So I'm kind of curious as if you guys have heard anything. We couldn't hear anything. I've heard, I've heard he picked heard up a, news. Sli a, a, knock, a slight knock. A slight knock. knock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of his middle name these days. So I'm not really surprised, but hopefully he can get healthy and get back. And then Brendan Aronson, obviously, coming off as a super sub. I think that was something we had just discussed uh, quite a bit in, in terms of where does he fit in. Weston McKinney, yeah. I think he put in a good good shift for us. Was it maybe five, ten minutes too long? Because he looked like he was hobbling a little bit when he came off. So I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like moving forward. But I love the balance in our team. I thought Team Away gave us that depth. He gave us a little bit of that uh, threat in behind, which was important. And then Anthony Robinson is doing a much better job, especially – now, with, with Fulham being in the Premier League, he's got to be a lot more thoughtful about when he goes forward and when he goes back. I think his this discipline and understanding of when to go is, is improving game by game, and I thought that we saw that a lot. I, I really liked our team in a lot of different ways. There's really nothing I can I – mean, we can nitpick, but but this was a no, promising it's, performance. It's, it's easy to, it's, Jimmy, it's easy to nitpick because we were the better team, right? We, we, yeah, exactly we right. Deserve to, exactly we deserve right. to win, and I think that's when we come over the top because we're like, it's not good enough. We should have won. Yeah. But ultimately, a point well, especially is, when we is were good. winning too. Yes. Like those two things, where it's like being better is one thing, being better and ahead is another thing. Like mm -hmm. those things start to mount. And obviously, all, all of us who have been in high stakes moments before, you you always feel like when that slips away from you, it feels like a little bit of a loss, right? And you want to nitpick it because you want to you want to make it less about like as a team. You don't want to make it about Walker Zimmerman, right? You don't want to just say he's the one that made the team the team give up the points. But you knew when that you're was like, going to happen. Yeah. You knew Walker Zimmerman was going to get it from from supporters just because they they weren't happy with Walker Zimmerman, especially when his form I think with Nashville hasn't been the best in coming into this tournament with the friendly uh, against Japan and Saudi Arabia. Him and Aaron Long that partnership didn't didn't work. So all eyes were going to be on Walker Zimmerman. And a lot of people were questioning Tim Ream just because he had been out of the picture, even though he's playing regularly at at Fulham, just because of his the lack of pay, pace, but he, he's, he reads the game so well in a game like today, it was so easy for him because Wales were, were dropped back and they didn't have any threats. And Daniel right, James right. was on an Island and I agree with that. we knew, we knew uh, Gareth Bale didn't have the legs. He's not making sprints anymore. R realistically, he likes to just check in, in underneath. And we, we what, given what that, I'll, what I'll we jump in and say very game. quickly about the center backs though. And as I think that think this through and reflect a little bit more on the second half, it really is on our center backs in some capacity to make sure we don't drop too deep. And it's on Matt Turner to make sure, you know, just being vocal, just to stay a little bit higher. I'm not talking we're playing this high line at midfield. I'm just talking three or four and five yards. And you guys know that makes a big difference, especially if Matt Turner yeah. can come out and be that. He did come out towards the end when it was a 1v1 there. Where we we're trying to get back in it at the very end and headed that one out. And then Kellen Acosta, smart yellow card, by the way. I want to give him a shout out for that. But I thought we started to – the lines started to collapse on each other. And for, for to kind of give you a definition of what that means is when our midfield and our, and our uh, back line are way too close. They start to blend. And yeah, they start to blend. And, and th when, then when they start to blend and you get too close to each other, there becomes this gray area of like, am I going to step to the ball or are you going to step to the ball? And when that starts to happen, that's when pockets of space and that uncertainty starts to pop in. And then it gets infectious. It just starts to spread yeah. throughout the team. Then your team shape is off. And so I really feel like. Well, and nerves are going up and fatigue is going up. I, what's that? 
I said, and nerves at that point are going up. Yes, of course. You know, you fatigue like is you, going you, up. Like it starts yeah. to become this perfect storm exactly of, right. of, of a situation. And, and, but then and, we, we talked about this before, Jimmy, and, and uh, before you jumped on the show. Of the, the players that I would have expected to not make that mistake are the ones that I think Greg brought because of their experience, right? Now, if you had a, a Robinson there, uh, a fit Robinson there, uh, or you had a young uh, other center back that makes that mistake, okay. But you're bringing these players uh, with experience because you're like, I trust you to make the right decisions. It's obviously, like you said, it's, mar it's marginal at this level, and it happens so quickly. You don't expect Walker Zimmerman to make that. But it was, I feel like it, you said it well, um, indicative as the game went on that they were dropping deeper and deeper and sort of mm -hmm. withstanding more that they could have prevented every, like, three, four yards of just taking those little tiny steps yes. that make – the strikers have to play honestly, or the wingers have yeah, to track yeah. back and those types of things. Yeah. Charlie, what, what's your thought? Well, I was going to uh, address one of the comments on the YouTube section. Uh, of course Jabari. you are, Charlie. You're the, yeah. you are, you are literally, <laughs> you, you are the YouTube you're, section. You're the hall monitor. Yeah. You are you the know, hall monitor. I have, us, I have the monitor. I mean? So J Jabron, <laughs> Jabron Khan said, stop spinning this to the positive. We should have won. The media quotes needs to oh, be gosh. hard on the team. Now you could be negative, and just be grumpy about this result. Yes, we all think we should have won this game. We were the better team, but that's 100%. not how this sport works. You have to, you have to either a stomp on their necks by just being aggressive and and being relentless and forcing them to just give up because we just keep scoring, or we close out the game. Greg Berhalter decided to close out the game. He figured, man, they're not that threatening. One zero is good. We'll we'll take it at that because we haven't been a sharp in the final third. So ultimately they were on the path to doing that. But I was, I was critical watching the game that Anthony Robinson was giving too much space to the, the outside uh, players for Wales to cross the ball. You mm -hmm. cannot, mm -hmm. if you're going to drop, you cannot not allow them to have free service and pick out where they want to go. You close it down and force them to either ricochet it off you or have to recycle and, and, and circulate the ball back across to the other side. But we were allowing them to, to serve the ball into the box. That was the issue. We're still in a good spot. So at one point going into the game against England, I'm going to be positive. Why would I say, oh, we're done. It's over. It's hopeless. Yeah. Because even if we lose to England and we keep it close and we beat I Iran, more than likely, I think we're still going through. Yeah, I agree with you. I would say that so that's why we're keeping it positive. If you would have, if you would have approached it, or if you would have told us ahead of time that we would have got out of the Wales game with a one-one draw, and you would have known that Iran is now minus four goal difference after the first one. I, I don't know. I, I not to say I, I would. I guess if if we had been down a goal and came back and scored, we'd be feeling a lot more positive about not necessarily completely positive, but mm -hmm. but feeling good that we were the ones that that fought fought back, and we you know that's that the easy narrative there. But I don't know. I, I still feel somewhat positive, I guess, by what I saw, how close we were to closing out that game and getting the three points. So for me to just to jump on the negative train just to be an asshole is uh, not something I like to do in my normal life. So None I'm not going to go do it now. None of us. And, then, and then also, I, I want to say that when these guys get to this level and you're the players, whatever you think about the coaching staff, I know that they do it too. And they're playing a different game because they, they have to work with the media in, in a much different way than I think the players do. But these guys aren't playing at these level without knowing when they make mistakes. They are they're looking at all the little things about how to get better. So for us to then pile on, it, or even if we did, we're like, hey, you know, Walker Zimmerman's got to do better. I'm pretty sure Walker Zimmerman knows that he needs to do better. It's like, yeah, no shit. Thanks, guys. You know, thanks, Captain Obvious. So it's just... I don't. I don't know. Well, he didn't even fight. He didn't even fight the penalty call. You, that's when you know that, like, he yeah, kind he of knew. just was like, you know, there's the players yeah, he, around he him, but you can tell that he hoping liked, that yeah. he wouldn't call it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, I, I get it. I mean, there's room for criticism, and people should be held accountable. But there was a lot of positives in this game that I was actually pleasantly surprised. And and in some ways, I was, I was wondering what Wales is doing in the first half because they just yeah. decided to sit back and absorb and it, not it, really try can, to play the game. It, and it we worked. tried to play. We tried to dictate things. We tried to win the game, and we deserved our goal. And I love that because we can't always say that about some national team performances, especially in a World Cup in our first one in eight years. And, and, and I will add, we, we aren't just in here throwing roses all over the place and saying everything's <laughs> great and dandy. Everybody had an eight. Everyone was great. No, we've been honest. We've said, you know, Josh Sargent wasn't good enough, although he made a, a big play for us because without him, we don't score that goal with his holdup play. But largely not good enough, not effective enough. I'd say Weston McKinney also 
kind of just doing enough to play because you could tell that injury is bothering him. He's not 100%. So at, at halftime, I would have liked to see him get subbed. I have no problem with them starting. You're saying, okay, I believe in Weston. Maybe he, he's he's going to be great enough to to make an impact in this game off of set pieces. But because of the way that Wales played, you didn't have to worry about set pieces in this game, at least yeah. defensively. So put on Brandon Aronson at halftime. Give him 45 minutes because he'll be able to press. He'll be able to, to get on the ball and, and play, be a little bit more aggressive. I think that's what we needed, a little bit more of that killer instinct and also being clean in the final third, which we didn't have. I, we said Anthony Robinson. Yes, he was uh, making runs at, at times, being a, a impactful, but gave too much space in the end of the game for service. Tim Ream, largely good. In the first half, didn't put a foot wrong. Second half, I think there were times where they got caught sleeping, and Walker Zimmerman especially, because obviously he gave up the penalty. And J what Jimmy Conrad is saying is we don't just have to go – Oh, Walker's the worst, and he, bench him, don't play him. That's not how it works. He made a bad mistake. We called him out on it, but that's it. Done. He yeah. knows he made a mistake. Everyone knows it. And then well, I, well, I, go ahead, I'd say Serginho Des to, to finish also didn't, I, I think, just didn't impress. <laughs>